Hey friends, in this video we're going to create a seamless pattern in Photoshop using the offset filter tool. And I know I've talked about in my past videos a lot of different ways on how you can create seamless patterns in Photoshop, but this time I want to show you a very different way and hopefully this will help you in creating surface pattern designs in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey guys, welcome back. So hopefully you saw the video before this on how to create a seamless watercolor pattern in Photoshop. If not, I'm gonna link that video below this video and you can check it out later. But we're gonna start here. So in my last video, I actually walked you guys through how to create this from scratch. I'll link below this video my watercolor brushes for Photoshop that I use to create this design. But once you have your design, so my design is actually on separate layers right now. So in my last video, I showed you guys one way to create a seamless pattern. So in this video, we're gonna do something slightly different. So this time, we're not gonna have anything touching on the right and left side or the top and bottom of the canvas. All right, guys, so we're starting with this image right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these layers and we're going to put them into a group and then we'll do command J on our keyboard to duplicate this group and we'll turn off the bottom extra one. This is just in case you mess up and you want to backtrack your step. So let's go ahead and click at the top group so you can press shift and click so that you can select all of the layers and then we'll do a control click or right click and we'll merge the layers so now we have this image on one layer for the offset method tool we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to other and we're going to go to offset so since this is 2500 by 2500 pixels so it's always going to be half of your canvas size so i recommend creating your original document as 2000 pixels by 2000 or if you're gonna do it 2,500 pixels by 2,500. So half of that would be 1,250. So let's go ahead and click OK. So now what it actually did is it cut our image into four parts. You can see what this looks like if you wanna go ahead and test this pattern. So we'll go to Edit, Define Pattern, just click OK. And then we'll go back to another document. So I actually did 29 inches by 29 inches and we'll go to pattern overlay and we'll click on our last pattern that we defined. So here's our image. This is exactly what we created. This is actually the middle part here that we just actually have to fill in. So let's go ahead and fill in this empty space in our original tile document. This is the area that we wanna fill in. So remember the layers, the extra layers that we made, we can go ahead, either duplicate it or move some of these layers around but let's go ahead and duplicate it again just in case and then what we'll do is we can turn some of these off and then let's say we wanted the brown one to go on top let's go ahead and move this so say we wanted to get this as close as we can get to the edge and then we can add some other elements down here and so just to get a little bit of a variation i like to lower the opacity down just a little bit and then we'll choose another layer we'll put it on top okay command t so now you can decide where you want other elements to go we can try to get it as close as we can to fill in those empty spaces. We can also move this here. And then again, if you wanna lower the opacity down a little bit, just so that you can get it to blend. And then what I'll do is I'll duplicate this again, and then I'll move the second shape down here. And so this is kind of a fun way of creating a watercolor design without the mess and again these are created from scratch so if you're interested in checking this out you can go to my website and check out the watercolor brush set for photoshop or procreate for this one you can 
also add what's called a, a layer blend mode so we can see what other effects we can get with this. Oh, that's kind of cool. So let's do color dodge. Oh, I like the way that looked. We'll leave it at that. And then now, if we want something down here, we can try to choose something else. Let's create a new layer. And then we'll go ahead and do blue and just click in the middle and then Command T to move this down. And then for this one, I want to bump down the opacity as well. And then if you want to blend some of these, what I recommend is putting a mask on the layer and pressing B for the brush tool. Here's a generic brush that I chose and you can press the left and the right brackets. So I'll actually erase parts of this so that it looks like it would blend together. So this is a little bit of a photo manipulation so I'll go down and change the opacity on the brush so that we can delete some of these harsher edges so that you can blend this in just a little bit so I chose a very soft brush but totally up to you what kind of brush you want to choose so there we have it let's see if we can it'll create any kind of effect if I added a layer blend mode All right, so I'm just going to choose darken. So now, once you're happy with this, go ahead and flatten this entire thing out. So go ahead and select all of the layers. And again, if you don't like the way it looks, I would recommend duplicating this layer just in case you need to make edits and you want to go back. So let's go ahead and select these layers and then do a control click or right click and then we'll do merge layers. So once we have the merged layer, Layers. Let's go ahead and go to edit, define pattern, click OK. We'll go back to our other document. So this is actually a 29 inch by 29 inch document and it's better to create a bigger document so you can see your pattern tile repeating across. So there you go. So this is what we have. Again, if you're not digging the way it looks, I would recommend going back to your original file and tweaking this, this pattern tile that we created. And so what what I'm seeing here is that this bottom here doesn't blend with this so I might actually go back and tweak that and also the left and right side this area here is kind of weird I would probably tweak this side as well but hopefully you got the basics of creating a seamless pattern from scratch and using the offset tool in Photoshop so if you guys have any questions on this entire process please comment below this video and I'll try to answer it as best as I can but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like it and please subscribe to this channel all right guys i'll see you next time bye